at number 26 on my fancy playlist up nine from 35 to cranberries with linger fancy playlist october 17th 1993 one wistful record dolores o'riordan reardon really delivering on that powerful that distinctive voice of hers zombie was another song they did more politically oriented dreams of 1994 summer of 1995 heavy rotation on mtv ridiculous thoughts a lost record by the cranberries nobody talks about anymore but mtv was playing the hell out of that video in the summer of 1995 i remember that because that, that same summer Lannis Morissette came out with her first hit record You Oughta Know and uh, Jagged Little Pill I believe was the name of the album <laughs> Boy. and then later on there was uh, I believe it was Old in My Family well this song was written before Dolores Reardon became a member of the band the guitarist Noel Hogan wrote the music and the lead singer Niall Quinn wrote the lyrics but he left the band. Niall Quinn left the band when Dolores O'Riordan, when she auditioned for the for the Cranberries, she did the song "Linger," and she wanted to rewrite it. When she was hired, she rewrote the lyrics, made it her own about a relationship she had with a boyfriend, with a soldier. Might have been her first boyfriend. He broke her heart. Didn't treat her right. She saw him out with another girl. My goodness, it's a heartbreaker. But there's some innocence that's mixed into this scenario. It's like a first love, even though it's pretty painful in the end. But she wrote a hit record out of it. Linger was originally recorded back in 1990 at their manager's recording studio in Limerick, Ireland. They put out a three-song demo. They made a three-song demo Linger was one of those songs. They sent it out to the various local radio stations, the record companies. They got signed by Island Records. Put out a three, well, they put out, they put out an EP, but did not include Linger on that EP because they, they were saving it. They saw something in this record. They saved it until they, they became more popular. Or or when they had a larger fan base. First album, their debut album. Everybody else is doing it, so why can't we? <laughs> Indeed. Linger, when it was first put out in England, it was not a big hit. Went to number 73, 74 in England. Didn't make the top 40 on their singles charts. But then they toured America. They came over here in the States and they toured with the, remember, duh, duh, T-H-E, T-H-E, duh, duh. They, they had that fantastic song called Infected back in 1987. Boy, that brought back some memories right there. Well, the Cranberries opened for duh, duh. And the song Linger was added into MTV's heavy rotation. It was a relief to have a song like this that was so, that was just ear candy despite the melancholy because you had the hard rap records the gangster rap records and you had the grunge the Nirvana, Alice in Chains uh, Pearl Jam and right in the middle slide right in the middle the Cranberries and her boyfriend it was called Linger because the, the soldier she was going out with despite all the problems they were having in the relationship, he just kind of let the relationship continue, continue to linger. It's just the way she sings the record. It's just it's gut wrenching. But that was Dolores O'Riordan. She was something else. Boy, she killed it on ridiculous thoughts. Man, I loved her on that record. Well. After the tour, well, the song got released here in the States. Went to number eight on Billboard's Hot 100. Then it was re-released in the UK and it went to number 14 in Britain. In Britain. Or in England. <laughs> I can't pronounce words tonight. <laughs> so we got the Cranberries at number 26. Up nine from 35 with Linger on my fancy playlist. October 17th, 1993.